Louisiana Beer Reviews, Pike's Double IPA. This is 8% alcohol and it has a, an 80 International Bitterness Unit. Family owned, it's from Seattle, Washington and it was introduced in 2009. This is a 22 ounce bottle which I purchased uh, can't remember somewhere around southeast Louisiana one of these stores I think it was uh, Dorgnax but Pikes is pretty common these days around here different Pike beers they use Pale, Maris, Otter Pale, Crystal, Carapils and Munich Barley Malt their hops are from the Yakima Valley or Yakima Valley however you say that and they use Columbus, Centennial, Chinook and Cascade this beer gets a good rating on Beer Advocate but on Rape Beer it doesn't just get a good it gets a 97 out of 100 super high score and an 82 out of 100 for the style so let's check out this double IPA I've never had it get a nice hiss Getting a lot of smoke. Nothing unusual with that. Ooh. But that's orange color. Well, we get a pretty thick cream colored head and a very murky orange appearance with a lot of streaming bubbles, especially since this is an etched bottom. I mean, <laughs> This looks like some kind of juice with pulp in it. I don't see the pulp, but you know the juice, you know what I mean? It just, it's cloudy, so super opaque. Uh-uh, you can't see through this orange thing. Let's go with the aroma. Uh, it's pungent, it's citrusy, it's... Mm, not too piney, though. Maybe a little bit of pininess, but um, that Green Flash West Coast IPA was a lot more piney. This is more citrus juicy grapefruit. Anyway, let's go with the flavor. Yeah, it's very citrusy. It's juicy. It's bitter it's very bitter but it's not super bitter an 80 IBU I don't know I'm not getting super bitter um, I'm getting a lot of maltiness here a lot of bread a lot of brown bread some white bread dough not raw cook the cook dough the, the center of the bread um sugar It's not really grapefruit though, it's more like orange. If it was a little bit sweeter, it would be like an orange Julius, which they don't sell around here anymore that I'm aware of, but they used to sell it at Lakeside Mall at a little orange Julius stand. The mouthfeel is medium sort of soft, a little bit slick. The finish is semi-dry and uh, it's pretty easy going and mild. It's not really too harsh. Uh, if you're not used to IPAs you might find it real harsh. I think the Torpedo Double IPA is a bit more bitter than this do. pretty drinkable um, it's kind of a dirty dirty double IPA it's got kind of a dirty uh, dirty
nerdy character to it. That's those hops coming through. Now the hop bitterness really comes through at the end, af in the aftertaste. Now I'm starting to get it. It is starting to become a lot more bitter in the aftertaste. A little waxy. Well, Beer Advocate says good and Rape Beer says world class essentially. Um, I'm not sure. Get a lot of prickly carbonation. Well, I sure do like it. I'm not even saying the dirtiness is bad. It's just kind of a rough, roughly put together beer, whereas the green flash was more well put together. But uh, anyway, Pike might have wanted it to be a rough and tumble like this, so I'm not going to disparage it. I'm going to give it one more sip and give a final rating. I guess you do have to kind of admire their no holds barred approach and that bitterness is subtle because it's not so much at first and then it hits you which I kind of like holy moly did somebody it looks like somebody dumped Hershey's syrup to, at the bottom of this bottle I mean I know it's bottle conditioned this is just <laughs> it's caked it's caked it's too much in there to swish around, really, and this glass isn't too big, this tasting glass, but I know, I'm gonna, it's gonna take a while to swish it, this bottle has so much in the bottle, it might have been sitting for a while, but um, it's gonna cloud it up, I just know it, and it's gonna bring out some more flavors, more yeast uh, flavors, so just without doing that, even, I'm gonna give this an A. The drinkability is not super high because this is a thick, it's becoming more thick, like it's starting to taste thicker than, I'm starting to think the, the mouthfeel is more like medium to thick. So if you want a pretty heavy duty and pretty harsh IPA, check this one out. It'll trick, it'll trip you up a little bit. It tripped me up. Um, it comes across smooth like hey how's it going and it bangs you in the head with a hammer <laughs> which I like so anyway this is a pretty cool beer um, from a pretty cool beer uh, brewing company so um, yeah I would highly recommend this and I've liked all the Pike stuff so far and I got another bottle at Mathern's I have to buy this wasn't at Mathern's but they got another one just like a pale ale which I know is going to be a lot milder so <clears throat> I went to the Pike's Fish Market in Seattle, and I thought it was pretty pretty neat. wasn't as cool as going to see the two Mariners games, but it was nice nonetheless. I enjoyed Seattle for those two days I was there. <laughs> so, les et les bon temps relate, this is really, it really is a most excellent beer. Whew. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. How you doing? Bang!